Coral reefs are often called rainforests of the sea for the huge diversity of life they shelter. There is a codependent relationship between coral and fish. The fish rely upon the reef for protection and to lay eggs, but they also eat up the coral's rivals. When too many fish disappear, the coral suffers and vice versa. After a series of natural and man-made disasters, beginning with Hurricane Allen in 1980, Jamaica lost 85% of its coral reefs. Fish catches declined to a sixth of what they had been in the 1950s, pushing families that depend on seafood toward poverty. Many scientists thought that most of Jamaica's coral reef had been permanently replaced by seaweed. However, the corals and tropical fish are slowly reappearing, thanks in part to a series of interventions. We've taken corals from the wild and we break them into tiny pieces and then each tiny piece grows into a new coral. So we're basically cloning them. The delicate work of coral gardeners is only one part of restoring a reef, and it's actually the most straightforward part. Convincing lifelong fishermen to cut back where and when they fish and controlling the amount of waste dumped into the ocean are more difficult. But some who were once skeptical have come to see limits as a good thing. You know, we've seen the corals go down, the fish size go down, the fish catch go down, and it was just, finally, we had the fishermen coming saying, what can we do about this? Jamaica was the hotbed for coral reef research in the 70s and 80s. And after some of the decline, a lot of the international scientific community abandoned Jamaica. Well, the Jamaicans couldn't abandon Jamaica because that was their coral reef. The effort to restore the coral reef is gaining momentum. Grassroots coral nurseries and fish sanctuaries have sprung up in the past decade, supported by grants from foundations, local businesses, and the Jamaican government. When we go to visit the coral, the nursery, we see a lot of fishes around. So we know that the fishes are slowly coming back. All indicators of reef health have been positive since the sanctuary is implemented, you know, everything. The surprising rescue of Jamaica's coral reefs shows that with time and effort, nature can be healed.